Good. Uh, mate, a um, couple of other stories. I have to go with this. Anjam Chowdhury. Uh, this, this, this Islamic preacher who seems to have been in and out of prison, finally today, uh, Woolwich Crown Court, found guilty of, well, sort of perpetuating terrorism, in negotiating and trying to coerce people into it. And they say, finally... This low life will be banned for life. Will be jailed for life. That's that's. Why has it taken so long, Pete? Seriously, it's been a thorn in the side of the police, counterterrorism police, the security services, not only in this country but in other places around the world. For as you've just said, as long as I can remember as well. Finally, you see, finally they will always get you if you are a constant threat to the establishment. At some point, you will get that reckoning. It simply will happen. Unfortunately, it's been a tortuous route because there's been a whole raft of lawyers very happy to represent Mr Chowdhury over the years and they have obfuscated, obstructed and, and just thrown every spanner in the world. Who's paid for those? Possibly... Who's paid for those lawyers just out of interest for Adnan Chowdhury to get away with it? Who's been paying for... It's not the British taxpayer, is it? I suspect it's you, me, <sighs> listeners, those watching on YouTube and through other platforms. Yeah, I suspect, unfortunately, it's probably been us, which is why we all need to celebrate a bit today. Mm. The Chowdhury is finally convicted, again, because he has been convicted on many previous occasions of various kind of offences, and each and every time he's played the system, he's appealed against sentence, he's appealed against conviction, all the while, of course, radicalising people mm. into thinking that everyone's a bad guy apart from Muslims and that we should all be blown off the face of the earth. I, so, can, I, 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 I said it the other day and I got several looks, but other people wrote and said, well done. It's the same as the Rotherham grooming gangs. These are British Pakistani men. I guarantee you that that would have been resolved a lot quicker if, unfortunately, and you might not like this, the race card wasn't played. And I think it's disgusting. Adam Chowdhury has encouraged, coerced and radicalised people to carry out heinous crimes that blow people up. And he should not have been allowed to garner and play a system. He should have been locked up a long time ago. I hope to God he's not going to use some sort of European Court of Human Rights to get himself out. I hope they throw away the key. Pete, you are known on this show, to be very honest, on this station, about um, the policemen and women, and you are super critical, and I think quite rightly, of those above. You are also uh, very, very complimentary of the hard work that men and women for the police do on the street. We've heard today a police officer has been stabbed in the chest at Franklin Prison. The victim has been rushed to hospital. He's conscious, but Durham Police said the officer who is from another force was attacked was visiting the prison. The Justice Secretary is being updated in the office condition and the situation at the jail. HMP Franklin in Durham City is a Category A men's jail. Again, not a great look that a serving police officer can walk into one of Her Majesty's prisons and literally nearly lose his life, Pete. Yeah, well, I'm afraid the prison estate is in an absolutely chaotic kind of situation. Franklin houses some of the real, real baddest people that you most definitely would not want to meet. Some absolute horrors are locked up there, fortunately. Now, this officer could be going to that prison for a number of reasons. He's not a Durham constabulary officer. They told us that. He came from an outside force. Sometimes you go to a prison to, in, uh, to interview a, a prisoner because they want to confess to further crimes. Sometimes you go to interview a prisoner because they are suspected of other crimes. Sometimes supergrasses get locked up and you need to go and visit them to debrief them as to what their future might be. And there's a raft of other reasons as well. Whatever it is, I wish this police officer yeah. who's been stabbed well. I hear that he's conscious and that he's talking. I hope that indicates that his injuries are not And we've actually just heard, mate, just while you're speaking, which is good news, that somebody has been detained. We've got two minutes. Watched Peter Blexer's face, listened to our voices. The mother of a Just Stop Oil activist, they jailed a few the other day for four to five years for disrupting thousands of her hard-working people, if you remember, by scaling the M25 gantry. One mother has held a press conference today in tears and has said, my daughter will not be able to be present at her brother's wedding. Please release her. Yeah, get your daughter off the bridge, love, when people couldn't get ambulances or get to hospital. Where were you when you're... Oh, Peter's covering his face. He's... It's... Honestly, mate, she won't make her daughter. He's crying. Peter is literally sobbing hysterically. We want to try and get a word from him in between. Oh, no, he's laughing. What a load of rubbish, Blexley, eh?
rubbish. Cressida is going to miss her brother's wedding. Oh, my heart breaks for Cressida, Mm. who's only a year into her university degree because she's 22. So she obviously didn't go at 18 or 19. I wonder what she's been doing in that interim kind of period, yogurt weaving or something, perhaps. (laughs) I really don't know. But um, either way, she's banged up rightfully so about time that those people who have gone about disrupting the lives of hard-working ordinary people that want to get to work go and enjoy their recreation go to hospital appointments go to funerals and so on and so on that lot finally got their come up and i gotta i gotta i gotta go you're a legend we should be celebrating adnam chowdhury and those just stop all unwished unwashed even idiots are in jail